plant friends. Welcome back to my channel. This is Tiffany, if you've uh, never watched one of my videos before. Um, today we have an unplanned video. It's not an unboxing, it's a haul though. This is a pickup order from Plant Bar Richmond. And I have a whole story to go along with it as well. So, buckle up. Okay, so about, I guess a month ago, I ordered two plants two, from Plant Bar. I got the shipping notice and it had the order confirmation number and said that the shipping label had been created and that I was just waiting to for UPS to scan to get the rest of the information. Uh, like two weeks go by and I never get any more information and the plans don't show up. So I DM Plant Bar and they tell me, you know, the, the plant came to Richmond, but it's somewhere lost in the UPS shuffle in Richmond. So they credited me back my shipping fee and sent me a new order free of charge. <laughs> this order also, I guess, got lost. I never actually got a new order number for the replacement order and I never got any shipping notifications. So I DM'd, but I didn't get a response, which I thought was weird because they're usually quite on top of it. But given that things have been very crazy with the world in general right now, I figured, I don't know, something just slipped through the cracks. So I wasn't that upset about it or anything. It's not that big of a deal. I mean, like I need joy, but it's, you know, it's plants and mistakes happen. Not something to freak out about. So then I waited like, a while and didn't hear anything back and finally I called so it's been like a month total at this point um, so <laughs> it's been like a month at this point since my initial order and you know still no plants but I was really worried about calling because I don't like talking on the phone and I have social anxiety so I don't like talking to strangers in any capacity and I don't like having like confrontations or confrontations with people in any kind of like retail, like, I don't know, just st stuff like that makes me very uncomfortable as like from a consumer point of view. If it's like an interpersonal confrontation, I do like a little bit better with that. But mm, anyway, not the point, but it was rough. I was very worried for no reason because Plant Bar is amazing and they reimbursed me for my order. They sent me a $20 gift card and they were gonna ship me one of the plants that I had ordered for free but I instead asked if I could do pickup at Richmond instead because I just I mean my order got lost twice two times so should I have any kind of confidence that would get to me a third time I think not which is what I told her I was like I look I would it be possible for me to just order some other plants and pick them up at Richmond since uh, the Richmond location did recently open back up for pickup. I was super excited. You don't have to pay for shipping. It's just, you know, it's exciting and you can get them a little faster. I ordered, placed the order online and it was the next day that I was able to pick it up. But I actually had plans, so I didn't get them for two days. What was I saying? Oh, so I got the gift card, they reimbursed me and they did not have one of the plants I had in stock at either location, but the one that was in stock, I got one of those um, free of charge in addition to the other plants. So I basically got five plants for the price of like one, I think is what it ended up being. I don't know. I, I mean, I, I don't know all the math at this point because it's been very convoluted and confusing, but guys. Like this is a lot of plants and I'm pretty excited. Um, I am sad about not getting the uh, other plant, which was a Calathea Macoyana, the Peacock Calathea. I'll definitely still get one of those. They'll get them back in stock. So I'm not worried. Let's get to it. My hair being weird. What should we start with? Should we go ahead and get the big one out of the way? No, okay. We'll start with the plant that was actually in my original order. Because this wasn't shipped, everything is just like in bags. And they just handed it to me in my car. It was curbside pickup. You can actually pop your trunk and they'll just put it right in there for you. And so completely contactless. So let's start it. Okay, first plant. This is the Philodendron Prince of Orange. 
and this one doesn't have the super bright foliage yet but I mean this one is is orange look at that man beautiful wow and so many leaves too I feel like usually the ones on the bottom of like the bush like philodendron varieties the leaves at the bottom always look like crap but these are in good shape. They're like not even any browning. So this is a beautiful little specimen, right? Right. No roots coming out of the bottom or anything. This will probably be, ooh, this is a very peat heavy mixture. We'll see. All right. Friends of orange. Oh, so exciting. Now this guy has a buddy in this order, which um, when I first ordered this one, I started sort of getting buyer's remorse. Is that the right terminology? I started sort of regretting that I chose the uh, Prince of Orange instead of this other plant, but um, yeah, it worked out because now I've gotten both. Well, this is like the cousin plant to that one. Here's a uh, Philodendron Macaulay's Finale. Now, the reason I was actually sort of regretting getting the Prince of Orange instead of this one at first was because right after I ordered the Prince of Orange, I mean like literally right after I ordered the Prince of Orange, I learned about the story about the Macaulay's finale. And um, please feel free to correct me in the comments if this is untrue. Uh, I really hope it is true though, because it's adorable. All right, friends, uh, editing Tiffany is here. And I just want to provide a little bit of clarification about the Macaulay's finale story. I was alluding to. Um, I went ahead and looked up the patent request that was filed on this plant to get the absolute correct information. So the patent was filed by Cora Macaulay. It was in 1999. In the background of the invention section, she explains that since the 1960s, there's been an extensive philodendron hybridizing program in the Orlando area that was created by her husband, well, her late husband, Robert H. McCauley. So Robert McCauley is the one that was running this hybridization effort in Central Florida, which in the end resulted of many of the uncommon philodendron, the self-heading varieties, the colorful ones that we all know and love. Um, um, after her husband's death, there was someone else who took over the program. That person retired. And then basically the hybridization program was discontinued, but I'm gonna read this part directly just so I can make sure I get it right. Uh, however, I, that's, she's referring to herself, Cora Macaulay. However, I continued to raise thousands of plants from numerous crosses previously made with particular interest in self-heading philodendron plants having distinctive foliage color. Among a batch of seedlings of unknown parentage, I identified and isolated a single plant which was strikingly different from all known philodendron varieties. The single plant was a self-heading rather than vining variety with rich red coloration in its new leaves. Um, then she goes on to talk about how she asexually reproduced the plant. Um, then she goes on to say that it does have some similarities to Prince of Orange, Black Cardinal, Royal King. Never heard of Royal King before. Heard of Royal Queen. Heard of Dark Lord. Would love to have both of them. Uh, but no, is Royal King the same as one of those or is this different? Someone tell me. In any case, basically, what makes the story cute is that the woman's husband died, and then she took it over, and she made one last plant from his seeds, and it was called Macaulay's Finale. So, that's the correct information, and I will link the Google patent down below in the description box in case you're interested. If you're like a super-duper plant nerd, this is probably for you. Um, they're very similar. You can tell here though, the, the stems on this one are this like beautiful dark red color. So the new foliage will come in like a uh, reddish orange and different shades of red. This looks like the leaves are a little larger on this one as well. You can compare. So similar, but not the same. Pretty thrilled with those. Y'all, these are beautiful um the colored leaves they do fade back to they revert back to the this darker green color as they age but 
as long as you keep your plant healthy, you're always going to have at least the, like a few beautiful colored leaves at the top. And I just think that's super cool. Plus, your girl loves a philodendron. Moving on. Next, I wanted a little plant for my bedside table. And it's kind of a, a very shady area. So I got ding, this just regular little ZZ in a four inch pot. Um, Plant Bar was actually having a 15% off sale on some of the items. So I ended up getting 15% off on this guy too. So he's so cute. And I, I mean, this is more robust than a lot of the four inch pots I have seen. It has many more stalks than a lot of four inch pots. I think it's looking good. And this has some new growth on it. Like this is cool. New growth there. Ooh, over here too, tons of them. Man, this is a healthy plant. These little crispy bits at the bottom had me a little bit sad, but I can just snip those right off. I think this is gonna do really well in my bedroom. I think so. I do have the Raven's Easy already and a, a larger one, but I wanted the regular and I think it's gonna be very happy in that little corner. Oh my, look at all these roots though. Homegirl is trying to escape. Ah, where am I gonna put it? Okay. Next up, <clears throat> last one of the smaller pants. And I'm very excited about this because this one is gonna involve a project. And I think I'm gonna do a YouTube video on it. It's gonna be interesting. And let me know in the comments if this is something y'all would be interested in. I've seen some other plant tubers do tutorials on how to do what I think I'm gonna do with this plant. So let me know if that's something you'd be interested in seeing from me as well. And it is a majestic staghorn fern. This is an incredible looking staghorn fern. Am I right? Or am I right? Look how big she is. She is magical. A little, goodness. I try not to, I know it's not good for you to touch the plants so much because the um, oils from your fingers are not good for them to be exposed to at excessive amounts, but how can you stop yourself? <sighs> anyway, I do, would, I would like you to get like an up close look and look at this, just like the beautiful, like the veining on the foliage is incredible. So I'm gonna mount this. And then I believe it's going to go over my bathroom door on the inside of the bathroom. And I think that'll look really cool. And I think that this baby will be quite happy there because I know they do prefer to be mounted, at least from the research that I've done. And I know that, you know, high humidity, so will not hurt putting in the bathroom down. I'm super excited about this. Ah! I don't think I planned this very well. All right, friends, there is one more plant and it's the bigger one. It's in a six inch pot. I also got 15% off this one. This was on my list a long time ago. It's not one that I see that many people have, at least the plant people that I follow on social media, not as many people have these. I, I know Harley G had one at least at one point in time, but I feel like I haven't seen that in her videos in a while. So I don't know, maybe she got rid of it or something, but here we go. This is beautiful. We have our Fatsia japonica. These beautiful like oak-like leaf shapes. Man. And I think one of the greatest things about this guy is that it's just, it's such a full luscious plant even at this smaller size. I mean, six inch pot is not that big, but you get a lot of plant in here. Oh, there's some, is that a, ooh, there's a lot of new growth. Anyway, this is beautiful. There's like a couple sad leaves at the bottom, but that is not a big deal at all. And yeah, man, check her out. Beautiful. So I have done some research on these and I know that they, I think my understanding is they can be a little bit tricky. 
so I'm gonna try to watch some more videos and honestly when I was trying to do some research on YouTube I did there were not enough of you who had videos on the, on this plant I need more care tips so please comment down below with care tips for this Fatsia japonica if you know anything about her um, my understanding is that they like to stay kind of evenly not evenly moist but they don't like to get too dry they prefer higher humidity and they like bright medium or not bright medium what they like medium in direct light so I was gonna lightwise I was gonna kind of treat this like a Hoya do we think that's the move I think so let me know what do you think and if you don't know ask someone else or tell me where I can go for answers hopefully I don't kill her well, plant friends, I think that's going to be it for this video. Thanks so much for checking out these new plants from Plant Bar Richmond with me. I hope you liked all of them. If you have care tips for any of these guys, please let me know down below in the comments because, I mean, I'm not an expert. I have a lot of plants and they're alive and I've been keeping them alive, but I don't know everything. There's lots of things to know. So comment away and... Please don't blame me if I say things that aren't completely correct because I'm still learning. We're all still learning. This is the journey of an imperfect plant parent. If you enjoyed the content of this video, please click the thumbs up to let me know you liked it and subscribe to my channel so you can see all the upcoming videos as well. If you hit the notifications, you'll be alerted as soon as I put the videos out. You can follow me on Instagram for more plant content at where the redford grows i will link all my social media information down below as well as the information for plant bar oh. uh, if you're interested in seeing any of the other plants that i have gotten from plant bar i will link those videos and the cards as well thanks for watching especially if you made it all the way to the end i'll see you on the next one bye <laughs> I'm walking by very awkwardly.